Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1098. Hey, if you want to download this workbook 1098 to 1100, click on the link below the video. Hey, in this video, we have email list one and email list two. And I need to ask the question, hey, email in this list, are you over in list two? Now, there's a problem here. I have this list here, and I go to my Outlook and just copy from the address bar, and it gives me all these semicolons. Now, in this video, we're just going to use replace to get rid of them. And then we'll do a straight formula that compares two lists. In our next video, 99, we'll actually do a formula that can deal with the semicolon, and we'll have a dynamic list. We'll use the table feature. All right, so how do we search for a semicolon and replace it with nothing? You highlight the range, home, find, replace, or the keyboard is Control H. I'm simply going to type a semicolon in find what and then replace it. Now, if you click replace all, whether in Word or Excel or other programs, you got to be careful because sometimes replace all can mess things up. But here, I know that there's only semicolons at the end, and replace all will not cause a problem. So I simply say replace all. Nine replacements, click OK, click Close. So now I can do a straight comparison. Now the way we're going to do this is we're going to use the lookup function match. Match is going to try and match this email list with something in this list. Now what it does is it has a lookup value. I'm going to say, hey, match, go look up this email address, comma, within the lookup array is the second email list. And I'm going to have to hit the F4 to lock that, so I'm going to hit F4. Those dollar signs mean as I copy down, it will not move. That's a relative reference, so as I copy the formula down, it will always look at the email directly to the left. Comma match type. We have exact match because we have text, and it's neither list is sorted, or this list was the one that will have to be sorted. So I say 0 for exact match. Now what is match? deliver to the cell, it actually delivers the relative position. So if it finds this email, let's see, 1, 2, 3, it should return 3 because that email is in the third position, relative position in that list. When it doesn't find it, and I'm going to double click and send it down, it just says, hey, it's polite, right? It says, not available. So is email in list 2? It's when we have a positional number that we have an email match. So to clean this up, if I want trues and falses, I simply say is number. So is number is the as a logical function that looks at the data in its argument value. If it's a number, it reports true. If it's anything else, it reports false. Control Enter, double click and send it down. Now if I wanted to ask the question, is the email not in list two? We'd use the same inner part. Watch this. Oh here. I'm going to click on value, boop, highlight it, Control C, Escape, equals Control V. We'll check this out, Control Enter, double click and send it down. It gives me exactly the same thing, but now I'm interested in NA because NA says that email is not in this list. Watch this, I have the whole range highlighted. The active cell, I hit F2. I can edit this formula in the active cell. Instead of is number, I want is NA. Close parentheses. Now that formula has been edited in the active cell to populate it all the way down. I hold Control and tap Enter. Now the trues and falses are reversed. So if you're using, if you want to check if something is in a list, well, match with is number. If it's not in a list, match with is an A. Hey, Control C, watch this. If I wanted to now check, is this email? Up here, Control V. Well, that's not going to work because look at that. I pasted the formula, relative cell reference, absolute. But watch this. I'm totally going to cheat here. I'm going to point to the edge of this orange and click and drag up. Now, notice it's one position too small. So now I'm going to point to the edge. And you could see that it's already changed, but I'm going to point to the edge. When I see that diagonal arrow, click and drag down. All right, that's having a little silly fun. Control Enter, double click and send it down. But now any one of these uh, formulas are now looking at the formula in list two and asking the question, is this email in list one? Is number? That means that it found a relative position. And yes, that email is up in this list.
All right, next video, we will uh, make it a little bit more dynamic so we can just dump our, our copy and paste here anytime we want, and the formulas will just automatically update. All right, see you next video.